Sunshine tomorrow, very warm. In fact, the start of a period of much warmer weather, the high 86 to 90. Sunny, very warm Wednesday will see a high Wednesday of 86 to 90. I'm AccuWeather Drew Shannon on KFBK, Sacramento's News Radio. 78 in Carmichael and 78 in Folsom. As we wrap up your full question today, SB 274 would permanently extend a ban on suspending middle and high schoolers for willful defiance. Reporters say that those kinds of suspensions disproportionately impact students of color, LGBTQ, homeless, or foster care. Uh, do you agree with the ban banning the suspensions? 91% on Twitter say no. Five, about six percent are not sure about it. Two percent, uh, about three percent say uh, yeah, that you should ban them. And we'll end with some calls. I am a high school teacher, and it absolutely affects the education of all students in the classroom, not just the ones misbehaving. Additionally, if we don't teach these kids, despite their background, what behavior is appropriate, how do we expect them not to be defiant with a future employer, general, a police officer, a spouse? Behavior is something that is also learned in the classroom, and this rule is absolutely ridiculous. City willful defiance, if it's left unchecked, becomes physical violence. And the teachers have to put up with enough in these days. If a certain demographic causes the problems, then treat them like they should be treated as a problem. That's simple. It should have nothing to do with color or nothing to do with anything else. There should be standards that should be held, and that means you respect other people, you respect your teachers. Kids are brought up now to demand being respected instead of earning anybody's respect, and it shows. If there can't be cooperation and respect in the classroom for everybody else that's trying to learn, then they need to leave. Okay, thanks to everybody that called in. All the calls uh, thought that we should not ban those suspensions. A uh, very small amount on Twitter thought uh, that we should. Uh, you can still weigh in there if you'd like. A top trending story is coming up, and thanks to everybody that called in. A major network shakeup. We've got Tucker Carlson no longer with Fox on Lemon, terminated by CNN. If you're about home, Pat Walsh coming up after 7. And uh, once you get home, you know you can just tell your smart speaker. Play KCK on iHeartRadio. Does Sacramento collectively have the will, the mental fortitude to dethrone this championship organization? Well, what happens next? Even the series has two games of eight continuing coverage. Wednesday night in Sacramento for Game 5. On KFBK, Sacramento's news radio. Spring has sprung and it's full tilt boogie time. It gives me the Vim.com. America's best bar buyer. Now on your car. McDonald's presents Burger Reviews by Hamburger. Today's review, the hotter, juicier, classic burger. Hamburger, the time is yours. He said, these are McDonald's best burgers ever. And then, can I kick them? And then he just grabbed them and ran away. Bravo. Run for Apple only deals, like the Big Mac meal, with medium fries and soft drinks for only $6. At participating McDonald's, offer valid one time per day through 5 14 23 Comparison to prior classic burgers. Hey, no dealer markup on every new Mita Mazda. Plus, supplementary limited lifetime warranty with the purchase of an Annie. New Mita Mazda. No dealer markup. Great selection. Learn more at MitaMazda.com. Bank closures, inflation rate hikes, and the roller coaster of the market frighten you as much as it does me? You need to call Oxford Gold. Securing your IRA or 401k with real gold and silver is a portfolio protection plan, and Oxford Gold has made it as easy as one, two, three. One app, one call, and you pick the precious metal. That's it. You now own real precious metals. Call Oxford Gold today and learn more about the one, two, three protection plan at 833-404-GOLD. That's 833-404-GOLD. Did you know you can get your prescriptions for less at your local pharmacy? You can with GoodRx. It's the free app that can save you money on your medication. Just search for your prescription, choose the pharmacy and the price that works best for you, and then show your GoodRx coupon to your pharmacist at the drop-off counter. GoodRx works at over 70,000 pharmacies, including Walmart, Rite Aid, and Walgreens. And it works whether you have insurance or not. It's easy to save. Next time you drop off your prescription, text GoodRx. To start saving today, go to GoodRx.com. GoodRx is not insurance. Are you a business owner, CEO, or responsible for marketing? If you are, 
iHeart Media can help you reach your goals and find new customers. We reach more customers in your target area than anyone else. And we can give you access to those potential customers more cost-effectively. Across radio, digital, podcasting, and social. We'd love to show you how iHeart Media can work for you. Get started today at iHeartAdvertising.com. That's iHeartAdvertising.com. Hi, Kim here for Bearco Redwood. Our lumber yards principles have remained the same since my dad started the company over 40 years ago. We stock and sell the highest quality redwood, partner with the top suppliers in the industry, and have a knowledgeable staff to guide every step of the way. The only thing that's changed is now you can find us in your community. We're located in Sacramento, Roseville, El Dorado Hills, and South Sacramento. I invite you to our family business or visit us at BearcoRedwood.com. This hour of the KSBK Afternoon News is sponsored by Jesuit High School of Sacramento. Presented by Mesa Chevy. Now trends on the KSBK Afternoon News with Kitty O'Neill. And it is 6.47 at KSBK Sacramento Kings Golden State Warriors back to square one tie at two games apiece in the first round playoff series that has been really all about the home team so far. But Kings top scorer... The Aaron Fox may be out for Wednesday's game with a fractured finger. Concerns about flooding in California as the warmer temperatures will melt the extraordinary snow melt pack that we've had. And two television personalities on opposite ends of the political spectrum have lost their jobs. As ABC's Derek Dennis tells us about Fox News, Tucker Carlson, and CNN's Don Lemon. Within an hour of each other, really, the announcements came. First, it was Tucker Carlson at Fox News. Fox News Media releasing a statement saying it parted ways with Tucker Carlson. Its highest rated host on the network, who drew something like 3 million viewers a night. Uh, but giving no reason why. And it, it seemed to be very abrupt. Fox News... Uh, Tucker Carlson is here on the network last on Friday night, and at the end of his broadcast, he said, I'll see you on Monday. So something happened between Friday night and this morning that forced this firing. And so he is no longer uh, an employee of Fox News, no longer hosting its highest rated show. And there's lots of speculation why. I mean, his, his departure coming just days after Fox did with that huge Dominion voting systems lawsuit for $787 million, uh, where the company uh, alleged that Fox defamed it by spreading misinformation about its role in the outcome of the 2020 election that uh, former President Trump lost. The many voting systems denied it and said that many of Fox's hosts, including Tucker Carlson, uh, said one thing on the air and believed something entirely different off the air. Uh, and that was brought out in various messages and, and emails that were presented in court. So the timing uh, from the, the settlement of that lawsuit to the firing just days apart. And so that's fueling a lot of the speculation behind the firing of Tucker Carlson. And CNN's Don Lemon made a much controversial comment about middle-aged women like presidential candidate Nikki Haley. Uh, Lemon saying she's not in her prime.